Hi readers, it's Mrs. Aurelia. This week in library, we are going to be reading a book called The Three Questions. This book is written and illustrated by John J. Muth. It was originally written by a really famous Russian author named Leo Tolstoy, and he wrote the original book um, and intended it for adults. So he intended it for an adult audience, but then John J. Muth realized that the questions that are asked in the book are really important for adults, but they're really important to kids also. And there are questions that we can all think about and think about our answers to. So he created this book to bring this, um, these three questions that are really important to kids as well. I am gonna go ahead and share my screen with you now to show you the book. As always, I am reading this book on Sora. So once I return it, you can go ahead and check it out if you would like to. Uh, something I wanna show you before we get started is that um, the art style of the book that John J. Muth uses, he uses watercolor paintings. So the paintings that you mix with water, um, the paints that you mix with water that we use a lot in like art lit at school. That's what he's using to create these illustrations, which I think is really cool. So I'm reading this book with permission by, um, from Scholastic, who is the publisher of the book. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we can see um, that the really beautiful art style is starting with the watercolor paints. We can see a bridge and some beautiful mountains here. So here is the dedication. This says that it is written for Nikolai. We are gonna find out who Nikolai is. There once was a boy named Nikolai who sometimes felt uncertain about the right way to act. Have you ever thought about that before? I think that's something that we all think about. Sometimes we aren't sure how the best way to act is. So that's what Nikolai is thinking about and that's what's gonna bring him to think about these three questions. I want to be a good person, he told his friends, but I don't always know the best way to do that. Just want to read that one more time because that's something that I think about. I'm sure it's something that you think about too. Your parents think about it. Your family thinks about it. That's a question that's really important for all people. Sometimes we all want to be good people, but we just aren't sure the best way to do it. So that's what I want you to think about as we're going forward. Think about how you can be the best person, how you can be a good person, and what your answer to these questions would be. Nikolai's friends understood, and they wanted to help him. If only I could find the answers to my Three questions, Nikolai continued. Then I would know what to do. These are the three questions. When is the best time to do things? Who is the most important one? What is the right thing to do? Nikolai's friends considered his first question. Then Sonia, the heron, so this here is a heron bird, spoke. To know the best time to do things, one must plan in advance. Gogol, the monkey, who had been rooting through some leaves to find something good to eat, said, you will know when to do things if you watch and pay close attention. Then Pushkin, the dog, who was just dozing off, rolled over and said, you can't pay attention to everything yourself. You need a pack to keep watch and help you decide when to do things. For example, Gogol, a coconut is about to fall on your head. So these are three different perspectives, three different ideas about this first question. When is the best time to do things? So let's think first, what is the heron saying? He's saying to Sonia, she, she's saying the best time to do things. Um, in order to know that you have to plan. And then the monkey, Gogol, he's saying, that you need to watch and be careful and then you'll know when it's time to do things. And the dog says that you need a pack to help you in order to plan and be able to do things. Those are three different ideas. I want you to think, do you agree with one of those ideas or do you have a different answer to this question? When is the best time to do things? Nikolai thought for a moment. Then he asked the second question, who is the most important one? So do you think that they're all going to agree or do you think we're going to get three different ideas about that question? Let's see. Those who are closest to heaven, said Sonia, circling up into the sky. Those who know how to heal the sick, said Gojal, stroking his bruised noggin. Those who make the rules, growled Pushkin. So again, those are three ideas about this second question, who is the most important one? The heron thinks one thing, the monkey thinks another, and the dog thinks another. So I want you to think about that question. 
Who is the most important in the world? Do you agree with one of these animals or do you have a different idea? Nikolai thought some more. Then he asked the third question. What is the right thing to do? Flying, said Sonia. Having fun all the time, laughed Gojol. Fighting, barked Pushkin right away. Then the boy thought for a long time. He loved his friends. He knew they were all trying their best to help him answer his questions, but their answers didn't seem quite right. So I've noticed that a lot. Sometimes when you ask your friends for help um, or advice, they give you a different answer and it doesn't feel quite right to you. And I think that that's because we all have different answers to these questions and we all um, have different ways that we would do things based on our personalities. So the answers that, um, that Nikolai's friends gave him might be right for them, but they might not be quite right for Nikolai. Then an idea came to him. I know, he thought. I will ask Leo, the turtle. He has lived a very long time. Surely he will know the answers I am looking for. Nikolai hiked high up into the mountains where the old turtle lived all alone. When Nikolai arrived, he found Leo digging a garden. The turtle was old and digging was hard for him. I have three questions and I came to ask your help, Nikolai said. When is the best time to do things? Who is the most important one? What is the right thing to do? Leo listened carefully, but he only smiled. Then he went on with his digging. You must be tired, Nikolai said at last. Let me help you. It's a really kind thing to do. The turtle gave him his shovel and thanked him. And because it was easier for a young boy to dig than it was for an old turtle, Nikolai kept on digging until the rows were finished. But just as he finished, the wind blew wildly and a rain burst from the darkened clouds. As they moved toward the cottage for shelter, Nikolai suddenly heard a cry for help. Running down the path, he found a panda whose leg had been injured by a fallen tree. Think about what you would do in that situation. Let's see what Nikolai would do. Carefully, Nikolai carried her into Leo's house and made a splint for her leg with a stick of bamboo. The storm raged on, banging at the doors and windows. The panda woke up. Where am I? she asked. And where is my child? The boy ran out of the cottage and down the path. The roar of the storm was deafening. Pushing against the howling wind and drenching rain, he ran further into the forest. Then he found the panda's child, cold and shivering on the ground. The little panda was wet and scared, but alive. Nikolai carried her inside and made her warm and dry. Then he laid her in his mother's arms. Leo smiled when he saw what the boy had done. The next morning, the sun was warm, birds sang, and all was well with the world. The panda's leg was healing nicely, and she thanked Nikolai for saving her and her baby from the storm. At that moment, Sonia, Gojol, and Pushkin arrived to make sure everyone was all right. Nikolai felt great peace within himself. He had wonderful friends, and he had saved the panda and her child. But he also felt disappointed. He still had not found the answers to his three questions. So he asked <coughs> Leo one more time. Why, that's Frankie barking in the background. Shh, be quiet, Frankie, we're reading. The old turtle looked at the boy. But your questions have been answered, he said. They have? asked the boy. Yesterday, if you had not stayed to help me dig my garden, you wouldn't have heard the panda's cries for help in the storm. Therefore, the most important time was the time you spent digging the garden. The most important one at that moment was me, and the most important thing to do was to help me with my garden. Later, when you found the injured panda, the most important time was the time you spent mending her leg and saving her child. The most important ones were the panda and her baby. And the most important thing to do was take care of them 
and make them safe. Remember that there is only one important time, and that time is now. The most important one is always the one you are with. And the most important thing to do is the most important thing to do good for, and the most important thing is to do good for the ones who, the one who is standing at your side. For these, my dear boy, are the answers to what is most important in the world. So he's learning that the most important time is right now. The most important one is always the person that you are with at the time. And the most important thing always is to do good for the people that are around you. That is why we are here. Beautiful artwork. So that is the story and here's the author's note. Um, this is talking about the story and it is talking about how um, the three questions were actually originally written by a Vietnamese Zen master. Um, and then Leo Tolstoy went on to write the story. So it's originally a story um, that is Vietnamese origin, and then Leo Tolstoy wrote it um, in Russian originally, and then John J. Muth brought it to us. So thank you for reading along with me, and I want you to think about those three questions. Um, after you are done watching this video, there is an assignment where you can answer what your answer to these three questions are. It's okay if you agree with um, one of the animals that's in the story, or maybe you agree with the turtle. Or maybe you have a completely different answer to these questions, because like I said before, we all have different answers to different questions like this based on who we are. So as always, thank you so much for reading with me, and I always have such a great time reading with all of you. So think about these questions and think about what, um, remember that the most important time is now, and remember to spend time with those you are with and doing good by them, just like we learned in the story. Thanks for reading with me. Bye, readers.